This is a GLC NAC phosphotransferase having a catalytic site and a recognition site. This is the UDP GLC NAC. This is the lysosomal hydrolase having different recognition sequences, a N-linked oligosaccharide and a terminal mannose residue. The UDP GLC NSE binds to the catalytic site of GLC NSE phosphotransferase. The lysosomal hydrolase binds to the recognition site of GLC NSE phosphotransferase. The recognition site in the GLC NSE phosphotransferase binds to the different recognition sequences in the lysosomal hydrolase. After this binding, the catalytic site in the GLC NSE phosphotransferase binds both mannose N linked oligosaccharide and UDP GLC NSE with the release of UMP. As a result, the GLC NSE phosphate attached to mannose in oligosaccharide is formed. The GLC NSE phosphate attached to mannose in the oligosaccharide is then released from the GLC NSE phosphotransferase. In presence of phosphodiesterase, the GLC NSE phosphate attached to mannose in the oligosaccharide is converted into mannose 6 phosphate or M6P attached to oligosaccharide with the removal of GLC NSE. These are abbreviations. Please like, subscribe, and share.